Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have a kind of big update in Ireland. So we have basically enchantment. There's no enchantment table, unfortunately, but basically we have this massive update with all of the spell books. So if you go to the combat catalog and go to magic, it says that certain weapons are Quake, Quake, Storm, Infernal, Void, and Hydro, and whatever this is, Aetherathal. Yeah. By the way, don't judge my avatar, but, um... So, they have made a different effect, say, enchantment for each one. So, let's just start off with the basic one. The spell... So, it's an infernal magical type. So then, over on the Discord, or you can go to your mailbox, it will say that infernal adds a burning effect that damages enemies over time. Stackable. Enemy is surrounded with flames while burning. So, basically, it's the fire enchantment from Bed Wars, but it's a bit different. So if he hit it a couple times, it will start doing like the fire damage, like 15, then 18, then so on, so on, so on. And now we're going to do the title. So the title, if we go to the magic, is a hydro. So the hydro creates a water like thingy mobobo, and it's like kind of weird. It's more like just like static. Every now and then you might get a chance to do an another damage. So it's more like, see as how I just did another 79 damage. So it's more like, not like static like Bedors, but it's more like it gives you a chance to get like a static. All right, let's just go along with the spirit spell book. So the spirit spell book in the magic catalog is void and it says void. So adds a weakened effect that reduces enemy damage while under effect, a purple gas surrounds the enemy with debuff. Uh, that's legit what the Discord says, so, um, yeah. It apparently will create a purple-looking thing around the creature. Yep, there it is. And I think it might do more damage, like it's a toxin, like, void? I have no clue. Yeah, it looks like I'm doing more damage. I don't know, though. But yeah, that is the spirit spellbook. That's what that does. You can go test this out yourself. Now let's do the ruby staff. So the ruby staff is a quake so the quake is a slowness so by the way the ruby stuff has been removed with the healing so as the spirit spell book but there is still a new weapon what is actually for healing so the ruby stuff is quake so that adds a slow effect to the enemy and reducing speed by 50 percent dust particles will surround the enemy during slowness Let's go test this on one of the scorpions. Looks like they are a whole lot slower now. It would be nice if it had like a thing at the top on like the enchantment or like something it was doing. Like, I don't know, like, like in bed was how you have the enchantment and what it does. Like when you selected the thing, it would tell you up the top on what it would do. Like it would heal. Or something and then we're going to go to the stuff got auxilla so that is quake that's the exact same one as the ruby stuff so uh yeah that doesn't really matter like it's the exact same as the ruby stuff so we can move on to the static scepter so static scepter is storm so so let's move on to the static scepter so that is so that's storm so the storm is Adds shocking effects to enemies in an area, effect damaging them over time. Stackable. Enemy is surrounded with lightning will be shocked. What? What do you mean lightning? There's no lightning, but looks like it's doing a little less damage. I know this is for different mobs and it probably would be better if I went to different mobs for different weapons since that's what they're used for now. I'm, yeah, I'm too lazy to. Alright, yeah, this is, this sucks, but that just does this weird, like, I don't know, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. That's an interesting one. And for the last one, we have the Slime Queen Scepter. So that is an ethereal, whatever you call that. I don't care. So the Slime Queen Scepter does healing. So that's the only one that does healing. So it's actually quite worth grinding now. So it heals effects that triggers over time, buff for near players, and green essence sound. But yeah, it basically just does healing, and I'm pretty sure there's some other changes to it. I just don't understand it and the healing 
like that's actually going to make that weapon worth grinding and worth the money and it's going to start going up in price and yeah so what did you guys think about this update if you did like the update and um liked this video and it helped you make sure to leave a like subscribe to the notification bell on it would be much appreciated since i am a like trying to get to 10k by the end of the year and um and now goodbye youtube